How's it going everybody? In this video, we're going to be using the skills we've learned in the past two videos to create a full plugin, and that will be a teleportation bow. Now if you haven't watched the first two episodes of the series, you can check them out up here in the card, but in this video, we're going to be looking at creating a bow that shoots ender pearls. Here we are in a blank plugin project, and just like every other time, we're gonna add a message for when the plugin starts up and shuts down. So logger.info, and then uh, ender pearl. Uh oh, has loaded. Copy this Go over here and unload it. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is create a command to actually give us this bow. So we're going to right click, create a new package, and we can call it commands. And let's create a new uh, cotton class bow. Let's call this ender pearl bow command, and we have to implement command executor, and then we have to implement our method. So we can do that with IntelliJ. And here we go, we have our on command method. And let's just return false. Okay, now what do we need this command to do? It needs to give us our ender pearl bow, right? So we're gonna do if sender not is player, then return false. And we just wanna make sure that we're not a server console because obviously a server console can't have a bow. So now let's check if is op. Um, I actually wanna check if they're not an op. So we want to do if not sender is off then return false. Okay, so now we can actually create our bow. Let's do val ender pearl bow item. Let's make that a type item stack and then we'll set it equal to a new item stack. And we'll pass in material dot bow. Now in order to affect the things like the name of it and what we're going to use to identify it from a normal bow, which is called custom model data. Now this is usually for creating custom textures on on items, so you can create custom items with resource packs and plugins. But in this video, we're just going to use it to identify it from a normal bow. Now in order to access all those variables, we need to get the items item meta. Let's do that. Let's do val item meta equals ender pearl bow item dot get item meta or just dot item meta and then we can do item meta dot display name and then in here we can pass in a component so let's do that component dot text and then let's call this ender pearl bow and let's give it a color text color and then uh let's try it purple 68 46 165 uh, and let's also make this bold so dot decorate and then text decoration dot bold there we go uh what else we also want a custom model data and that is again in this video we're just going to use that to identify from a normal bow so let's do item meta dot set custom model data and let's this can be any number so any uh integer Let's make this um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why not? Then we can do ender pearl bow item dot set item meta and then item meta. And then we just want to set the item meta. So ender pearl bow dot item meta equals item meta. And that will make sure that we apply this uh, display name and the model data to the actual bow. So now let's give that bow to the player. And we checked up here that the sender is a player and not a server console. You can do sender dot inventory dot add item. And then we can pass in our ender pearl bow. Ender pearl bow. And now let's register this command in our plugin.yml. So we can go into resources, plugin.yml, dot done line, create commands, and then we call it, uh, let's call it ender pearl bow. And then description gives the player an ender pearl bow. And then let's come back here and create our register commands function. So, uh, private on register commands. And then we want to do get command ender pearl bow. And then dot set executor ender pearl bow command and then we can just do logger dot info registered commands then we want to not forget to 
call this from our on enable because otherwise nothing's calling that. So now our command is registered and let's test this out to see if it gives us our bow with our custom uh, metadata and everything. And here we are now on our server. We're just going to check again if our plugin is loaded. So slash PL and there we go. It is. Uh, so now let's try our command out. And we did ender pearl bow. Here we go. And there we go. It's given us a ender pearl bow and it has the name and the color and it's in bold. So that's pretty cool. So that appears to be working. So let's go back to our plugin. Okay, so here we are back in our plugin. And what, what do we need to do now? Well, now we need to actually make the bow shoot ender pearls. And to do that, we're going to have to know when the bow is actually shot. So let's create a listener for that. So create new package, listeners, that. And then we're going to create a new class file. And we're going to call this uh, shoot bow listener that and this will have to implement listener and again you want to make sure it's the org.bucket.event one and then we're going to do event handler fun shoot bow event and then create the event i think it's entity shoot bow event entity shoot there it is entity shoot bow event so the first thing we're going to do is get a reference to our entity so val entity equals event dot entity now we want to make sure that the entity is a player because this could also be like a skeleton or something so let's just make sure that's a player so if entity not is player then return and it's important to note that returning out of a event handler and canceling the event are two different things returning will just stop your code if you want to actually cancel the event you have to do event dot is cancelled equals true like that but we're not going to cancel the event so now that we know that the it is the player who shot the bow let's check if that bow is a teleport bow so let's get a reference to the bow do val bow equals event dot bow and this is an item stack um, and because this could be known we're just going to do a elvis operator like this we're just going to do this little trick that we learned in last episode and we're just going to say return so this means if that is null, then return. So now we have a reference to our bow, we want to check. And this is going to be quite a few checks, but this is just to make sure it won't throw any errors if it's not. So let's do if bow dot has, actually not if not bow dot has item meta, then return. And then if not bow, oops dot has custom or dot item meta dot has custom model data so if it does not have custom model data we want to just return and finally we want to check if not or no if bow dot item meta dot custom model data not equals one two three four five six seven and you want to make sure that's the same number as you put in our uh, bow command so if it doesn't equal that then return so now that we've checked that it is in fact our ender pearl bow, we can do two things. So the first thing we want to do down here is cancel the event because we don't want to shoot the arrow. So let's do event dot is cancelled equals true. And like I said before, this won't stop our code execution here, so we're fine there. And now we want to do entity dot launch projectile and let's pass in an ender pearl and then colon colon class dot java. And that's just how we specify the ender pearl. It's a little bit strange, but that's just how we do it. Now we're going to use the velocity, so the direction that it's being shot in. Let's set it to the event.projectile.velocity. Just like that. So we're setting it to the velocity of the object that's just been shot. So that should be enough to launch our projectile. But we actually want to get a reference to this projectile because we're going to need to set the source of it. So let's do val projectile equals we're going to do projectile.shooter equals entity okay so we've now set our shooter and before we forget let's uh register our listener because if we don't do that nothing will work so let's create another private function and call it register listeners and then we can do server dot plugin manager dot register events and then we want to register a shoot bow listener. And then we can pass in this as the plugin. And then let's just do log here dot info 
registered events or not events sorry listeners listeners and we also want to make sure we call this rock here so register listeners and now we can build it and try it out okay so back on our server now let's test it out so if we shoot our bow it shoots an ender pearl and that teleports us so there we go we've created our teleport bow but let's test to see if it'll shoot a ender pearl when we shoot a normal bow so let's just grab a normal plain old bow out of the inventory i'm gonna also test on a crossbow so let's shoot it and you'll see nope it just shoots a normal arrow and does the same thing as a normal bow would and it should be same with the crossbow yep just shoots a normal arrow nothing special but if we shoot our ender pearl bow it shoots the ender pearl which is pretty cool. And we can shoot this in any direction. We can shoot it over there. That's our plugin. We've created a full plugin using our commands. So we have this Ender Pearl Bow command. And we've used listeners to actually create the Ender Pearl being shot from the bow. And that is pretty cool. So if you enjoyed the video or you found it interesting, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions or ideas for the next video, let me know down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.